keep investing in yourself, knowledge, books, travel, life experiences. The only real way to grow is to change your environment or optimize it. This is me, four weeks in the Philippines. <laughs> Yo, welcome to the vlog. I'm gonna do like a home style video today. So it's gonna feel super like, like when your dad filmed it in the 90s. So it's gonna be fun. So good morning, everyone. It's 7 a.m. here in Manila, Philippines. We have our daughter that's eight months on the way. So we have one more month to go and I'm telling you. It's quite something else once the, the kid starts growing in the belly. She's like, bah, 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 bah. she's a little fighter at night. And so she's keeping us awake, but at the same time, she's keeping on her, on her toes. It's very exciting. If you're new to this vlog style that we're doing here, uh, my name is Martin. I'm a region traveling around the world and somehow I ended up living in the Philippines. So I've been living here now for six months. Met my wife, Filipina in 2017 actually in Sri Lanka and been coming to the Philippines since 2018 but now since we are uh, giving birth to our first child, a little daughter, and we're trying to do uh, entrepreneurship and growing as individuals as well, we thought, you know what, I think one of the best places we can choose to live right now is in the Philippines. So we're excited to make this our home. And so in this video, I'm gonna be sharing a little bit about parenting, but also about wellness and performance. Some of the things that we do here at home and hopefully share some tips to you as to a different directions to think about when it comes to how you're building your home. What's important if you are one of those people that you believe that environment helps shape how you feel, both how much you can love your family, but also how much you can love yourself in the right environment. So it's very important to think about. And this is something that I've been reading a lot upon and that's something we're trying to implement here in our house. So welcome to the vlog. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's time to walk with the baby. This, Jill, ladies and gentlemen, is my wife. Hello. Eight months. <laughs> she's heavy. And I always have to pee because <laughs> she's pushing down there. <laughs> so, so far, Av is getting all of the kind of, you know, <laughs> all, of the, all of the stuff that comes with being a parent, you're the one that's been getting it. Yes. <laughs> I've been kind of sheltered, but I know mm -hmm. very soon. Very soon you'll be the one changing the diapers. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Help me. We, Help take me. A, we, we take a part of this, no? <laughs> Not just me. <laughs> Sometimes if when we were out walking, we used to be able to walk for like 30 minutes, but the more heavy Ava gets, the harder it gets also. It's fine though. It's fine. What matters is putting in the try in the first place. coffee for us this morning. Oh, perfect. I haven't had my coffee. Look at this. Got a takeaway box brew. Ah! <laughs> Cute, <laughs> no? <Goodbye. laughs> 
Not so much Thank for you. you. Not so freshly brewed. Yeah, perfect. Because we're actually going to leave today. Yeah. It's nice to have our coffee to go after breakfast. What's in the box? Ah, uh, you want to see? Okay. Maybe you that's can, what I want. You can open that. It's this. Yeah, that's for you to open. For the buntis. Ooh, more coffee. Hey. What does it say? Thank you for purchasing our homegrown products. Oh, cool. Look, it even says at what elevation the coffee is grown. Mm -mm. Elevation 1,450 meters. Wow, that's good. So we have a subscription where every month we are getting sent new coffee from Bose Coffee. So if you go on their website, they have this uh, function where you can kind of like order for a 3, 6 or 12 month subscription. We're currently trying out so that we're getting familiar with what coffee the Philippines has to offer. So many special blends, so many interesting flavors. And I also like that you are able to uh, order some iced brews. So I think we should try that next. Get some iced coffee going too. Yeah. But I drink so much coffee every day. So for someone like me, this is perfect. And obviously, slowly, slowly... Turning into a coffee lover. <laughs> you have no choice <laughs> being married to a Norwegian. All right, let's enjoy some almusal. Almusal. Breakfast First in Filipinos. Cheers. Coffee cheers. Ave, why are we wearing face masks? There is like something going on right now in the Philippines. <laughs> like a cup or like flu. I forgot the name. I had forgotten how much I hate face masks. Yeah, I too. freaking yeah. hate it. But apparently there's something to be careful about and because yeah. of the baby, we're gonna take it a little slow. We're gonna hit up a couple places today. How long since you were in BGC last? One month ago. Yeah. A month ago. I go here every month only. So for those who are new to the vlogs, BGC is like one out of two or three large developments in Manila. With large open areas, malls, restaurants. It's a nice place to go. Very popular for tourists. are checking out baby stuff. Mm -hmm. The baby's coming out in two months. Yeah. And uh, now we need to buy that fridge. All certain things that we're missing after our gender reveal party. Oh my God, so many products. So many things I've never seen in my life before. What are the things we're missing, Ava? Newborn, newborn clothing. Newborn clothing. We are now in the backyard of our home and you know when we walked in here we were like wow when we first viewed this house half a year ago we fell in love with the backyard so me and my wife Avi we probably stayed in something like 500 hotels and different Airbnbs as we used to be full-time travelers so we lived in a suitcase for six years went around the world visited all different continents gather insights data points as we were going around and kind of like talking about what did we like about that previous home we stayed in what did we like about this place what did we like about this culture and I think you know being able to do that for five years really <laughs> makes you somewhat of a freak when it comes to knowing different standards and knowing how things work and knowing how you operate in a certain environment and when we discovered this place in the heart of Manila we were like wow this is exactly what we've been looking for it had just enough space for us to be like you know what we can grow in this space this space fits our current vision where we want to go with our lives and so the backyard is such a, an amazing and important part of that because for us we love nature I think if me and Avi could just 100% choose where to live we would probably just live on an island <laughs> But then on the flip side of that, it's kind of everything that we do also that makes us kind of constrained in a way. Like we just can't live anywhere. So we're really, really happy here though. We found, I think, the perfect balance. 
So let's talk a little bit about a backyard. What's important? I think bringing in plants is some of the things that I've noticed. So you have a lot of different plants, a lot of different colors to look at. If you live in a country where, for example, where I grew up, we have seven months of winter. So just being able to see beautiful plants every day has a huge effect on your mind and close to nature. We're also very lucky here because uh, most of our neighbors also have very big trees. So it attracts a lot of birds. Just such a tranquility space. The point of a garden should be the ability to sit down, relax, let nature come to you and realize that we're really connected in every way, really, to nature. It's for us, what it's giving us, it's a lot of time to reflect and keep moving forward. On the other side, there's a pool. And today it's Sunday and we're just gonna be spending time here at home. One of the things that I have to do in the weekends is to clean the pool. It's kind of like a man's thing, right? So we're gonna do that right now, make sure it's clean so we can enjoy the rest of the day. A little bit later, I'm gonna show you what I am doing and my vision for creating the perfect environment for performance and health. But that's separate from the garden. I'm doing like a little bit of a, uh, I would say, a wellness center. It's kind of my idea for it. So stick around if you wanna see that. We have these huge mattresses that we have to hide from the rain because <laughs> we didn't manage to find any outdoor mattresses yet. So these are just regular mattresses, but with a nice cover. And so we put them on the outdoor furniture uh, that we bought in Laguna here in the Philippines. We opted for something very traditional, you know, but it's super nice. It's like bamboo style and makes us feel like we're always in a resort. <laughs> so now what I do every morning is I put these on just to kind of, yeah, make the environment of the backyard perfect. Next place I'm gonna show you in the house is a place that I'm recently just building out. I'm very proud of it, but it's far from complete. I think you'll get the vision. Let me show you. So this is the latest addition to the house, the wellness center. We've installed a three-seater sauna from Oasis PH. Super good company. I mean, as a Norwegian, I grew up with saunas and this is a legit thing. It looks beautiful, crystal clear, like window front, straight towards the tropical plants. So that's kind of the idea here. And then I also have an ice bath over there. So it's like that perfect combination between heat, cold, performance, exposure to other environments, which actually, if you're an entrepreneur, it really, really helps you because you're getting challenged, right? And so when you're an entrepreneur, you're constantly being pushed. Everything is on you. Paying salaries, making enough money, making sure you're compliant, delivering a good product, like everything is on me. So with this, I kind of have the ability to get challenged also in a safe environment. And I use that power to make sure that I'm operating on a good level. That's how I like to look at it. But a lot of people do it for the wellness aspect, which is this increased blood circulation, less pain. There's so many benefits to it, really. And so guys, I did turn it on this morning and you can see it's currently at 90 degrees. <laughs> So this is gonna be a pretty intense thing. And it has a bench in there, super nice bench. I put down this cloth too, the bottom there, and it's like a stone sauna over there. So I'll show it to you, look at this. There's the inside, there's a bench. Over there I have a timer. I'll turn this around and it will count down 15 minutes. So that's how I know. Usually I stand in, stay in for like five to 10. And over here we have the stone sauna which is like you pour water on it, adds more moist, but just this alone will bring this room up to around 90 degrees. I also have some essential oils. So Oasis sent me these. It's like essential oils that I'll pour on the sauna like this. For example, this one is eucalyptus, and it's so nice for the nose. So I'll definitely pour some of that on there today. All right, let's jump in there.
So this is about 10 minutes in the sauna, 90 degrees. And it's like, I'm fighting everything not to go out. So it's like, the key word here is seek the discomfort, like yes theory, seek discomfort. Once you enter that realm, you discover new parts of yourself. So to me, that's wellness, all right? And now I'm gonna jump in the pool and cool down. And it's gonna be the best thing. And you're gonna feel like you're reborn. I want to share with you guys something I wish someone would have told me earlier in my entrepreneur career. So I'm currently 29, but ever since I was 21, I've been trying to make it in some sense, right? Been trying so many different things, probably 20 different business ventures within e-commerce, filmmaking, different strategies for hotels, resorts, like it's been a lot. <laughs> And through the entire process, even though all of them is considered a fail to me today, you never go down, right? You, you get that knowledge. And so you keep building on that until you kind of get the right keys and open the right doors. And then all of a sudden, one day, without you understanding it, everything's gonna kind of just work out for you. So one of the things that I, I think is very important to understand is that society will tell you to kind of like get a good job and then immediately start getting a house. While what me and my wife done is completely different. <laughs> Like we've done completely the opposite of what everybody tells you to do. And so what we've done is ever since we kind of made our first dollar, we put that dollar right back into ourselves. Every dollar we ever made, we just reinvested into our dream. So instead of giving it away to a monthly mortgage or a monthly loan very early on in our career, for the last 10 years, just been compounding. You're putting it right back into yourself. And that can be done in different ways. As long as you're learning something from it, as long as it gives you life experience, it's a good investment because my idea the entire time has been, if I keep investing every dollar I make back into myself, will I then be able to double that dollar? And then over time, kind of crazy how that works. So there's a famous saying to that, a good quote that I think sums up what I'm trying to say. And it goes like this. You can have more than what you currently got because you can become more than you currently are. I love that quote and I think it encompasses a lot of questions like keep investing in yourself, knowledge, books, travel, life experiences, change your environment. Oh, this is also a huge one. How much your environment plays a role in your overall growth and performance. The only real way to grow is to change your environment or optimize it. So again, reinvesting into your own environment. Save a little bit and buy that better computer. Save a little bit, buy that beautiful lamp, buy that carpet. Start forming your perfect self and your perfect environment because everything is different what you see here might not be your dream home but I can guarantee you it's our dream home and we're putting every dream into every detail and everybody's environment is going to be different and the sooner you realize that that only way to really find your true purpose is to become the highest version of who you currently are how I do that in my life is that I love to talk like every possible opportunity to get some information. It's a possible information that I might be able to use my own life. So I'm never copying someone else's exact path, right? But I'm looking at like, whoa, I love what you just said there. I can use that in my perspective, in my life and what I'm trying to build. So in reality, the more people you're able to meet, the more information you can read or view and look. The more data points you have in your head, like your head works like a little bit of a computer. It's kind of similar. Like the more information you have, the more possibilities you can see ahead of you. And so it's beautiful and I, I think I just discovered this by chance, but then as I've been reading a lot the last year, I just bought I think 50 books and I started just systematically going through each one of them. And the beauty about books is that you get, wow, you get someone's entire life compressed into 200 and 300 pages. You can read in a month. You can read someone's 50 year of knowledge, experience, hardships, opportunities, possibilities and solutions. You can read it in one month. And so imagine what you can do then. So I bought books from like my major idols within every industry, real estate, entrepreneurship, business growth. You get the point, right? So picking a little bit of every one of these high achievers, these really, really successful guys, you're able to forge an idea of what it really means to be successful and how they've done it, how they built their lives. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to the point where I'm like, wow, they are no different than you and me. The background that they have, how humble a vast majority of them grew up, it's just like you and me. And so really what it all starts with is your ability to just say, you know what? I want this for myself and I will put in the time. That's what I'm currently been doing for the last couple of months and it's been, uh, it's been an amazing journey. And you stop comparing yourself to anything 
Like anything on social media, anything is irre irrelevant. Whatever somebody got, it doesn't matter because you're not valuing your success on others' success or this ideal. You're more valuing yourself based on your own performance and how far you've got the last, you know, couple months. So kind of look at a sports car now and I go like, ooh, that's like five Airbnbs and I can have that car. So I, it, you're switching your mind to being like, whoa, he must be rich. Oh, he has so many things. Oh my God, this guy is, is probably from a rich family. To being like, hmm, the more I know, right? What finance and how the world is structured. You're like, hmm, actually, if I put in five years and dedicate myself to building five Airbnbs that are really, really good, that people want to stay in, I can then afford that supercar if that is my ultimate goal. Newsflash, it's not, <laughs> but still, it's a fun way to look at life. Start becoming like, oh, anything is really possible, whatever you set your mind to. This became a long segment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited, man. I just finally got a lot of this off my chest. And I think if you guys like this format, that it's something I really, really want to do going forward. I want to sit down, give you guys some keys to unlock some doors, hopefully inspire, share some thoughts. Comment below right now. How long was it? Three, four minutes. Made you feel. How did that make you feel? I hope it made you feel inspired. I really hope so. Let's go on with the day. I got a couple other areas and ideas I want to show you for how to build your perfect dream life. Coming up. It's Easter Sunday, we can eat meat now. We've been eating seafood for the past three days, yeah. I think. Yeah, three or four days. And it's the first time to have some meat. Chicken. <laughs> yeah, Ate prepared us some fried chicken and kangkong. I always make sure that there's vegetables whenever we eat in yeah. every meal. That's something that I want to, uh, you know, balance out all the I think you're doing a good job of that actually. Um, and then we have varieties of the sauce. Banana so ketchup. Like banana ketchup. I think this is for me. I never Japanese had this. mayo, uh, tomato ketchup, and mustard. So Ooh. it's up to you. And rice. So normally, me and Martin do the groceries together. Yeah. But I'm the one who will think of what to buy. Yeah. And then whenever I don't have time or if I can't cook Atigori, it's actually the one who prepares our food yeah. most of the time. But I cook also from time to time. So basically she's the operation in the house. She oh. manages everything, make sure the environment is perfect. Yeah, the bills are paid, <laughs> yeah. Ates and Kuyas are paid. You're amazing. You did a great you. job. I house think. is clean. <laughs> This is something we're learning now. Yeah. The marriage, right? How it works and how we both come together to create the best family that we possibly can. So let's okay, Kaina. Do you want let's to do your brain first? Gee, you guys seeing that? It's 36 degrees, y'all. And because of that, we're gonna get a slurpee. Slurpee time. Are you ready for slurpee, love? Yeah. <laughs> All right, time to go get a slurpee. Hi, Ava. Hello. It's now 2.30 in the afternoon in Casa Welcome Armenia. Welcome to the bar. And we've created this new concept which we call Orox Bar. And it's basically what we want to do. Actually, we were joking about it. Why not just make a pool menu? <laughs> and you can like make it fun, you know? You can just buy, this is just a local pizza that we made it look nice. So it gives that exclusive uh, feeling. So we, we, do you want to explain the name Orox Bar? Uh, it's where I am from in Norway. That's where my roots are. And that's why we wanted to name it that. So we have something that also brings me my roots in a fun twist. Water for me. Water for Ava. Beer I, for Papa. I did put out a couple beers, but we'll see. It's just there. So maybe if I get, you know, interested. By the way, Ava, this looks this looks good. Yeah. You look good over there. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm so chill. Is the baby happy? Yeah, because she's floating. <laughs> she's not too heavy in oh. the water. That's what's been going on. So every time Ava spends time in the pool, it's more relaxing for the baby. And for mama. And for mama, obviously, you know. How heavy is the baby? 10 kilos already? I don't know, actually, but... Or no, they're born lighter. like two and a half. Yeah, but it's like lighter. Yeah, but you know, it's a lot of water in there. There's, there's yeah. interesting, so I get it. <laughs> and also, it's very warm yeah. for me. Yeah. So, having a pool is a 
a privilege. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You're so lucky. You're very, very lucky. How do you think getting a daughter will impact us as people? Do you think it will be fun? Yeah, it will be fun. I'm excited yeah. for what characteristics she will get from us. Because mm. <laughs> we're both like energy bombs, right? Will it be way more energetic? Will she be more way more e energetic or super quiet, shy? Right. <laughs> that could happen, you know? <laughs> Total opposite of us. I can't see a future where that happens, so we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, if she's half as crazy as us, I think it will be good. I All right. Over here, we have this amazing speaker, which I keep bringing everywhere in the house. We just got this, and so no matter where we are, we have a really, really nice big speaker. Alright fellas, next step, intimacy. The sun just went down and we've spent an entire day focusing on each other, talking a lot, getting good conversations out, holy shit. It's been a good day for us. We don't get to do this often, but we're trying to make the weekends like this and it was a lot more easy for me to pick up the camera and film it for you guys. It's been, it's been very hectic lately with everything else, so it's nice to finally get the time to do that. But this is what we're picturing our weekends being like going forward. I think it's healthy to just completely unwind. This is what I'm gonna show you a couple of things that we do to increase the atmosphere. So one thing is that I'm playing music in the back there right now, and we're always playing a certain playlist to fit the mood that we want to. So I'm really fan of, for example, Italian cooking music, romantic couple night. Like I love to use Spotify like that now. We just write the feeling that we have. Relaxing sunset, and it will give you a playlist with relaxing sunset, like it's crazy and it really works. So music plays a big role, but also lighting. So in about 20 minutes, the whole place is gonna look a lot different and we're really invested in the lighting here. You know, it really bothers me if the golf cart isn't positioned that way. This is my OCD. My OC, what do you call that? It looks better this way, anyway. Sunday night. And since it's Easter Sunday, we can now eat beef. So it's Korean barbecue for tonight's dinner. We got some kimchi. I made the sauce, a sesame sauce. Japanese mayo, rice. I made a sesame salad, boiled potatoes. And of course, we got the rice, some fried eggplants. You just don't see it that much. And ramen. And we're also watching a movie on Netflix called Players. What's nice about this room is that it looks so cozy at night because of all the lights. Yeah. Yep. All the lights that came from garage sales. Thank you, garage sale. <laughs> That's what I've prepared. Me and Atikori prepared this. Hope you're happy. I'm very happy. Mm -mm. What I did was like organizing. Yeah, you did. You're doing pretty well with that. Okay, date night. Monday morning. I feel really, really good actually. We managed to completely just wind down for the last couple of days. And it's fun because I was able to show you what it's like for me to use the same space that I use for performance for healing. And so it was really, really good. I'm really happy I got to show that to you. Now we're back in the performance stage. So Monday to Friday is like 
grind, man. Sometimes Saturdays too, it depends. Depends on the volume. It's really the, um, what it takes to be an entrepreneur is just that you have to give it all you got at all times. But I wanted to talk a little bit about performance wise. So here's what I've done and it's not complete. So be a little, don't judge me, right? We're, we're, we're getting there. But the idea here is that we're building a space. It's an own room within the house. So it's like a study slash home office. And it's like, I get to close the door and I get to just be myself in here and develop whatever I need to do. That was never as easy uh, when we lived in an apartment. There just wasn't a space for me to really do that. I really feel that when we opted for that, when we actually went for that idea, it turned out much better because I'm able to focus way, way more and actually the output of what I'm creating is much greater inside this office space. I also use this space to read, study a lot. I realized that in my 30s, I'm gonna kind of go back to school, but homeschooling myself. So that's gonna be pretty cool. I'm very, very excited to learn more and to expand my knowledge on different things. Back on Monday, I'll try to film a little bit of what happens today, but mostly now I just need to focus. I hope you guys are enjoying so far. Leave a couple comments below if you're curious into more how I structure my, my everyday life, but I tend to wake up pretty early, get Get in here, try to read at least 10 pages in a book every day, go straight to my emails. And my clients in Europe, they wake up at 8 p.m. Philippines time, so I have the, f the whole day to really like shove all the information in their email inboxes. So when they wake up, I tend to get replies, and it feels like I'm always ahead in a way. It's really weird, but it's great. So it's working really well right now.